Hey, Mike. When you first started writing for us at uh, Design World, did you know very much about bearings? Hi, Paul. Uh, no, I sure didn't. I sort of knew the word bearing, but I couldn't tell you much about them. And I certainly had no idea how they're used everywhere in the engineering world. But in managing the BearingTips.com site for Design World, I have learned a ton over the years for sure. Well, even with your newly gained vast reservoir of bearing knowledge, I know that you probably weren't ready for the fact that bearings were going to be such a topic of national conversation <laughs> over the past few months. You have to be talking about the ubiquitous fidget spinner things. <laughs> yes, of course. Now, these gadgets, which have been around in some form for about 25 years, became the breakout new toy in 2017. Now, they're widely marketed as being helpful for kids with ADHD, but as of now, there's really not any scientific studies that prove that claim. True. But what you can't disagree with is that these things are crazy popular. It's been estimated that more than 200 million of these toys have been sent to retailers, and they always seem to be sold out. For sure. Well, we have assembled a crack team of fidget spinner experts to give us some more insight into the craze, as, as well as to discuss the engineering aspects of these gadgets. So let's check it out. Fidget spinners. Fidget spinners. Fidget spinners. spinners are for kids with ADHD to help them focus about things. They're really cool. We have fidget spinners because today kids have fidget spinners to play for, with for fun. You spin them and they help you focus. Or, or also, it, by the push of your spin, that can determine how fast it can go. Oh man, this one goes really fast. That's <laughs> 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 your coldest. That they go really fast and you can do tricks with them. That, um, that the Bluetooth ones friend. play music. Um, the ones that are really sharp and actually have killed a person before. They've sliced their finger off and killed them. It could be a choking hazard. Probably, five. probably age seven and up. What I would do with all those fidget spinners is I would give one to each kid. What I would do with a fidget spinner is one I would make my own YouTube channel and then every week I would talk about the different fidget spinners if I had all that were different. Um, if I had a thousand of them, I would donate them to kids that don't have many toys or charities. At times, yes, and at times, no. Um, our school abandoned them from being at the school during teaching time, so only at recess and outdoor recesses where we were allowed to use them. I don't know. I'm only going into second grade, so I don't really know. I make one that you could just push a button on it and you could watch TV from it. So I think that we have learned, Mike, that uh, there's a lot more to fidget spinners than uh, either one of us would have probably guessed. For sure, I think that any engineers involved in the design of new fidget spinners have a lot of deep thinking to do before the next iteration of their products come out. Well, thanks for joining us today. And as always, for more need-to-know engineering videos, please check out designworldonline.com.